Hey, what's up, traders? Day Traffic's Hunter here with weekly forex forecast for the 1st November 2020. So, we have October behind us, and in the signal service, we are ending with the profit 4.5% in this month. Considering that we are risking 1% per trade, it's not the bad result, and not even any hedge fund should be embarrassed with these results. Some people are asking me why so small profit in the last three months, where was the average profit 5% per month? Well, uh, answer is simple. You want a big profit, you must take a bigger risk, right? Simple as that. Big profits comes with a bigger risk, right? So you must consider your own uh, financial situation and if you want to if you are able to trade like this, you can do that, you know. But uh, with the professionals trading and uh, managing the funds, uh, you should be doing this. Of course, the small accounts must take bigger profit. You have no chance to deposit 1,000 and make some huge profits, right? Anyway, um, even with the 1,000 account, uh, with the new prices which are coming soon, you will be able to cover the fees and uh, make it a profit with such results. If you risk more, you will be able to get more profit. Um, I personally take a bigger risk as well on my personal accounts. I will share the link uh, below this video. You can see that I actually made 100% this month. You can see it's all the verified live results. Uh, I have this account on the MQL5. And might I will provide it uh, for the copy trading, but as said, it's a high risk, and uh, I've been a couple of times minus 60% uh, drawdown, right? So I'm able to, and I'm able to trade this, and I have no no problem to go such a risk. But you know, you want to make 100%, you must be able to risk. It's simple as that. If you want to risk just small and make it big you will probably not be successful or if you know someone who is taking a small risk and making a big profits i would like to maybe know this person because that must be a very good trader anyway my friends uh i don't want to blah 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 too much but uh, while i'm speaking about this it's uh especially because the next week is coming the u.s elections that's why i decided not to trade too much swing trades and uh, actually i will not trade the swing trades at all i will do some gambling trades on my personal accounts only and uh, i want to give you some uh, tip if you want to trade this uh, movements it's of course exciting it's gonna be moving a lot but uh, i will suggest you one thing if your main capital is for example 20k usd for the trading and you want to trade this uh, nice opportunity it's of course nice opportunity so your trading capital is for example 20k um, and so and you want to trade these elections please open another additional account transfer the money you want to risk and trade on this account don't trade on the account where you have uh, your all capital here is the reason why in 2014 there was a uh, you know the swiss national bank was doing the interventions uh, on the swiss franc so it was quite nice for trading on the euro franc and usd franc because we we knew that the swiss national bank wanted to keep the franc uh, uh weak so every time when the price dropped to the support it bounced you know so it was like really easy money free money and of course you used your stop loss below these levels but once Swiss National Bank, like, like, like it came from the heaven, they said oh, we're not going to do interventions anymore with the franc and then the franc, boom, in the five minute candle it has made thousand pips. But what do you think that happened with your stop loss? Your stop loss, even it was uh, let's say 50 pips below the latest low, it was exactly the thousand pips lower and many people lost the money. And even in some brokers, like the interbank brokers, like a Saxo, uh, they don't have the zero balance protections. What does that mean? That means that if you have an account, let's say 10K, and uh, you exceed your loss, for example, if you had the 10K and there's some people traded with the 
two lots positions their account ended on the minus 40k let's say and there was the executed their stop loss on the low so their account ended up on the minus 40k and such a broker will ask you for this money right so that's uh you know the extreme scenario we mostly trade in the, um, some uh, uh, the retail brokers because we are of course our retail traders and um, basically what why i'm saying that because uh, if you will trade on your account where you have as i said those 20 usd 20 000 usd dollars and you will put your stop loss on the us elections and you will be wrong the move can be such uh, such sharp that uh, you will not be executed on the minus uh, 200 dollars they can might execute you on the minus 1000 dollar right so what you should do is to put just some capital you want to risk on your other account and the worst case what could be is that your account will end up on the zero or it can it can end up in some negative but if you trade in the broker which has a zero protection balance uh, you will not lose more than you will want to right that's just my tip you know i don't want us uh, i don't want to do any you know financial advices even i am licensed trader that's why i have a account management i can do that uh, in the uh, in the regulated broker but still this is something which uh, is uh, dangerous uh, for the trading and uh, mostly the big whales make the money because they have a deep pockets and they can you know move it up and down but uh, yeah i know it's very exciting this uh, because it's uh, not every day and uh, if you do be careful so i will show right now uh the couple of things uh, which i will probably trade I, um i like euro usd i like usd franc i like pound and um maybe usd jpy as well the aussie kiwi looks good right now there is there i want to show something with the retail positions and uh, yeah and uh last two weeks i was not that much active uh, you have seen that but i said i've been working uh, with my coder and I, with this i want to say thank you he helps me a lot to automate uh, many things you will see it right now in this video as well i was working on the automation with my telegram service uh, with the signals where Actually, right now I have the bot which is connected to my platform. So everything what I do, it takes a screenshot of the trade and it posts a signal to the signal service. So basically I open a trade, the buy limit, it will send a signal. I will edit it, it will send a signal, right? I will close the trade, it will send a signal. So this uh, will be amazing because uh, I will of course keep only the swing trades, but uh, sometimes happen that uh, I close the trade on my account and then I don't post it to the signals because uh, for example it's uh, I'm not by the computer so I cannot do everything properly so this will be now amazing I expect that the, that the service will get much much better thanks to this uh, upgrade as well I have another bot in the telegram which will be taking the care about the subscriptions uh, so everyone who subscribe uh, will be added automatically into the channel so I don't have to do the you know invitation link and uh, checking if you paid or not everything will be doing the bot as well it will be kicking the, out the people who don't pay so uh, a lot of things which are now being automated like uh, the signal service uh, uh, posts uh, which will be taken from my trading account uh, the, the subscriptions will be taking uh, uh, the bot will take care about it uh, you know, automatically as well the prices will go down so because I will have less work so I can focus more on the trading as well uh, this what I'm working on the website uh, it's getting automatic so I don't have to do the uh, COT in the Excel every weekend manually. I will not have to draw everything manually. Um, a lot of things are right now getting automated and I can focus more on the just picking the setups and yeah, I'm very glad how they're all moving uh, into forward uh, thanks to my 
a very good friend and decoder right now and um, yeah so the next week I will not be such much active I will might post to uh, what I do and uh, the, the week later we start again properly I'm really looking forward all right my friends so let's go to check it all right <laughs> Okay, my friends, so we are now looking to the COT on my website and uh, this uh, weekly forex forecast will be kind of different because uh, I want to show you what uh, work we do on my website, which I will use in the future for my trading decisions and uh, so you will see. Basically, this is the COT as you know it and here is, of course, if you click on this, it will take you to the, this retail positions, right? And we have something new here. We, you don't see yet uh, the new button in here because I don't know why I must click to here. To, to, for example, Oziket, and now we can see this chart. So if you click to this charts, it will open you this window with the four charts for the specific pairs, right? Uh, I have it here as well, so I will go through that straight away. So. This is kind of uh, something what uh, we are working on right now with my core uh, and I want to thanks to him with this uh, because this is really something amazing. Uh, basically we have the uh, pair in view uh, on the monthly, weekly, daily and uh, four hours, right? Here in this uh, right corner we can change uh, the pair to anyone. So for example I can bring the Aussie, I can see the straight away the pair on this four time frames and I'm seeing the liquidity levels. So, uh, this pink levels is the high and lows and uh, what is coming as well is the stop loss zones and uh, uh, the liquidity levels where the banks uh, uh, loaded their liquidity could be called bearish bullish order blocks or supply demands levels quite the important levels right uh, so this is what i'm going to use for my decisions why i love it is because simply i don't have to draw anything into my charts and i can come here i can simply check any chart like this you know and uh, with the drawings and then I can go to my COT for example and I can watch as well the uh, what the retail is doing basically with the one click I can see the chart on the four time frames with the, all the drawings I can see what the banks are doing what the retail is doing so it's basically perfect so as said uh, next week I will not trade too much because look at this that's quite you know we're gonna have the JPY bank holidays, you know, then the race decisions, Aussie, you know, then the presidential elections, Kiwi change rate, uh, Bank of the England change rate, right, the FOMC, you know, the Friday unemployment, you know, poof, non-fun payrolls, that's gonna be something what, as I said in the invitation for this video, like, kind of good, but for the gambling, be careful, really. Uh, so let's go uh, to do some analysis. So I said that I would be interested to trade uh, Euro, right? What are we basically expecting right now and we are seeing it for quite some time that here we can see that the Euro is in the profit taking phase, right? After it hits uh, these levels on the monthly, we can see the price is kind of doing the profit taking. And if we go to the to the bank's positions and we will bring the euro, what do we see? We can see this profit taking, right? So we are seeing the banks are dropping from the 262. Right now they are 217, right? That's uh, amazing. They dropped the net position. So. Uh, we are seeing that uh, it's definitely going and the euro will probably go down. But right now, what I was actually calling the last week, uh, uh, we actually, I was actually expecting the price to hit this level. And it did not happen. It dropped down. And uh, I think it has a specific reason right now, you know. 
If we look again back to the COT, we still can see that the banks are quite heavily bullish, right? And I think they will need to close these longs before the proper drop down because they don't have a shorts yet. So where we can expect the price to drop, of course, it can be into this level or even uh, this level, right, on the daily. And uh, so how it could happen? Uh, if we look uh, what happened uh, with the last uh, um, presidential election, it was actually in here. We can see this big spike, you know, and then the price dropped down. Look at it again, you know, we can see the price actually started, went slightly higher, then it was going slightly down. Uh, if we bring it on the daily, we will see how it looks. Oh, actually, I don't have such a history in here. Anyway, so we can see this big spike and then the drop down, right? So is it possible that... Uh, as they as they did on the weekly such a move on the weekly you can see how they took out all these moves right so we can see the price was actually the ranging drop down slightly higher than you've been than many people could be expecting the continuation here and look what they did they did oh bye bye stop losses and then we can go down and uh, if we go to the daily and the current market what we are seeing in here look Basically, many people shorted in here, right? We can see that many people did it. And they are actually right, you know, because they probably trading, the, you know, the break of this trend line, you know, the, as well, here was this resistance. So those who entered it here, those who entered it here, very nicely, we congratulate. Uh, here will be many, many stop losses in this level. And I'm thinking that uh, that's quite very possible that the price will retrace in here before it will start to drop. So if on the elections I will be trading, uh, they will be probably announcing the new president on the uh, on the before something around the it was something around the eight o'clock or eight o'clock ten o'clock my time. I will be looking for the price to move higher and I will start to, you know, do the positions in here, you know, some positions, some for the shorts. And then if the price start to drop, I will be glad to have them. That's what I'm looking for on the euro. If we come to look to the what's again, the nice pair and looks very similar is GBP. So look what's going on here. We can see that the price actually hit this uh, uh, this monthly level, just to hit it for the second time. So I think in the future, it will come here to take out these stop losses, right? On the weekly, look at this. The price started to drop down, right? As well, um, here on sorry this is not on the weekly this is on the daily here on the weekly the price hit this level and it's trading below it for the quite a long time i'm expecting the price to drop and i think it could start happening right now and where it could go is uh, these levels look this uh, equal lows equal lows you know so here will be a lot of stop losses of the buyers but which buyers let's go to the cot we can click here on the gbp we can see there is not much buyers here uh let's bring it like this um gbp usd so you can see there is not much bias. Actually, the banks reducing their longs. They dropped from the 54 into the 31. And the shorts, they dropped as well, right? But still, overall, we are bearish on the pound. But let's go to look what the retail is doing. If we bring the GBP. And here on this my website, you can see the changes. If you bring uh, the one pair, this is the changes, but per day, it's quite more smooth than uh, what you can see in your platform with my indicator, right? So this is uh, indicator. It's updating every 15 minutes, and this is updated daily. So what's actually happening in here? We can see what's happening. Look at the longs growing right from the 34 555 53 51 50 50 59 53 so the longs overall 
are kind of growing right for the last seven days uh, and if you look in here so they're growing on the daily uh, when, when the price is dropping down the longs are growing so how, why are they growing because probably the traders enter at the breakout in here and the price is dropping and they still probably adding more long so where they would have the stop losses below this low below this low maybe even below this low in this nice demand zone right so all this liquidity could be filled up so here it's these lows on the four hours right so they looks very very good to be visited how to trade it well as said i'm thinking the the dollar will first might dip I would not definitely enter somewhere around here to, for expecting this price to continue down. Maybe, you know, uh, it depends how it's going to be before the elections. But I'm thinking uh, might we could see some slight move higher and then bigger drop all this way down here. Right. But as said, uh, we're going to have the elections and it's going to be quite interesting how to how it all will behave. As well, there was a nice pair USDJPY, and here is actually what happened on the USDJPY in the 2016 after the Trump won the election. So this is this is the week when it was, and then we can see this. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, one and month, one and a half month uptrend after this right so look what have actually happened and a similar thing is happening right now right so we have some you know accumulation then the price started to move up then it dropped and uh, what happened then look how much they dipped down into this uh, level before they started to move up it was quite big dip so this is the level and look this level was actually visited uh, one more time in here, right? And now what's happening on the USDJPY? It's making some lows on the four hours and uh, the people might starting to buy it because they're expecting strong dollar on the on the votes. And here is nice two lows. There is, here will be liquidity. So maybe something like this we could see. So uh, I will definitely be looking for entries uh, on the elections uh, somewhere down here right but as said on the gambling money on the money which i can afford to lose here is the view on daily so it's the lows these lows are nice liquidity here is where the banks if they will be buying it will not be happening here it will be happening down here right okay so this is the usdjp why we have seen the euro uh, quite interesting pair for me is right now the Aussie Kiwi because what we can see here is that actually the price has reacted in this historical low with a quite big volume you might thinking why some candles are more colored than others right that means that the big volume was traded in there uh, so the price reacted here on this um, historical lows right here we have some equal lows some liquidity so i'm thinking we are going here on the monthly on the weekly again we have this beautiful up move we have uh, these highs being uh, violated this one taken out as well now the price uh, is retracing and where it's retracing into the level where was all this all this uh power for this move accumulated right so what we basically could expect is this bounce here on the weekly now let's go to the daily on the daily we are seeing here is this two equal low so here probably will be the liquidity so they will be taking this out right this should be violated so on the daily the price still could go slight lower but to where into here into the level where was uh, the again uh, the liquidity loaded before the price started to do all this up move right so we are now retracing here and we could see some bounce in here on the four hours 
of course there could be still something dropping down right if we go to check uh, the uh, bank's positions and we will bring the Aussie Kiwi we can see this we can see the Aussie is bullish right we can see that they dropped uh, their shorts positions with and still holding quite big long so it's bullish here is the Kiwi yes they rise their longs positions but they bringing the shorts as well so we dropped from the 60 to 59 which is not so big change and here we actually been at 58 and we dropping from to the 55 but for the last three weeks 52 53 54 so the for the last three weeks growing this one is kind of dropping and now the magic is actually here in the retail position so what we are seeing in here now you might thinking uh, why would he wants to go long if the long percentage is 85 right well yes most of the retail traders is in the longs but how for how long look for many many days they've been in the extreme so they've been actually in the trap for a quite long time from the for from the 13th so they've been almost the half months they've been in the trap so how does it looks on the charts uh, on the half months from here from here they've been in the trap they actually bought probably in somewhere in here this low and it's taking them out right and the, the here will be the as I said here will be probably the most of the stop losses and what's actually happening right now look uh, so they've been like this and if we look to the shorts positions look at this so they've been in this extreme and look what's happening with the shorts slowly coming in right so mostly the reversal is coming when the the market reached the extremes and it's starting to give you the signs of these changes and of course it must be in the confluence with the chart so um here the low the probably the more shorters will enter in here and the stop losses of those buyers they will give up in here and then the price could move up right so this is what i'm expecting on the aussie as well what looks good is uh aussie what was that aussie jpy i think yes Aussie JPY we have a strong reaction here on this bottom monthly level right so we have the one level out and here is still quite good levels which could be taken out on the monthly of course that there could be some downtrends uh, on the lower time frames here is uh, what's going on on the weekly the price is slightly retracing into these uh, liquidity levels right and uh, here is on the daily what's going on so I'm thinking that uh, on this low after this low will be taken out we could might see some move higher and yeah so Aussie still looks good quite bullish for me I was thinking uh, why is that why uh, the Aussie Kiwi and cat are still strong and I actually realized that the one simple reason is this if you go to the calendar and you simply drop it price down uh, drop the drop it down here you can see that only these three currencies have the positive interest rates of course that's you know why they are so strong against the others so even in this uh, that's why in this simple uh, that's why in this not uh, easy times on the world these currencies are bought all right so this is uh, just couple setups which i will be looking for the next week and uh, mainly i will be focusing on doing the upgrades uh, regarding the this thing and uh, the week uh, the as said the next week i will be not be too much active as well and then the next week we will be back with the full power right here's as well actually one function i want to show you about this if you click in here you can bring let's say for example 
Uh, I will click to the Aussie. Here I can click uh, Kiwi. Here I can click uh, Cat. Here I can click the Euro USD. I uh, can bring the daily, daily, daily. And you can you can compare like this uh, the old pairs, right? Um, of course, it would be better if uh, you can uh, have it like uh, full screen here. This is just uh, what we uh, said. We are still working on this, and uh, uh, there is uh, many things uh, which still are under development. But they're bringing the nice things. Like for example, if as you can see these lines in here it's the changes in the retail positions and uh, you can see it on the, all of these charts so i think this is gonna be amazing tool but it's said it's still under development but already it's making quite nice things that you can watch this like that and quickly find the setup and then just uh, uh, go a lower time frame in the mt4 and make it uh, profitable all right, my friends, this is it. Bye-bye.